Right now we're going to be making another flower. Earlier we spoke about this beautiful plant called marigold. So what are we going to be needing? We need some tissue paper. Oh, you don't have any tissue paper? Get the ant oil. Come on, get the ant oil. Two sheets. Great. If you have tissue paper at home, you need two sheets as well. You also need a bottle of glue and you need a green pipe cleaner or any color. So let's go again. We need our glue, pipe cleaner, tissue paper or hand towel. Also, if you don't have the color that we're looking at today, I'm going to ask you to get out your paint. It's going to be a little bit of painting today. Might get a little bit messy, but guess what? Get your bibs as well so that we can paint and get our flower going. Yes, because we've been talking about plants, of beautiful flowering plants, and you need your container to be painting. So let's go in your tissue paper. So we're going to put both tissue paper together mm -hmm. and we're going to put them on the table and we're going to be folding, you know, like you're making a fan. Yes. So let's go this way and that way. I'm going this way and that way. So I'm going to fold in and out. Mm -hmm. Oh, way too fast? No. Let's go ahead. In and out. The paper is going to again. Lift. In. Fold. Out. Fold. Again. In and fold. Out and fold. We're right there. You didn't get that one? Let's do it again. So I make two tissue paper, I put them together and right up there, let's go. Fold, and then we go in, fold, out, fold, in again, in, Fold, out, fold. I know you're enjoying it. Say it with me. Let's go. In, fold, out, fold. One more time. In, fold, out, fold. We're almost there. In, fold, out, and fold. You're almost there. You have one more. That's good. Keep going. So now we have this. You're going to now use your pipe cleaner. Put it in the middle. And we're going to fold it up nicely. Come on. Fold it. Tie it. Yes, man. Very good. Now we have that. It looks like a bow tie, doesn't it? No, what we're making is our marigold plant. Down to the edges, I want you to crush, crush the edges. Yes, man. Crush the edges. Ooh. Building up the muscles, building up my muscles, building up my muscles today. Come on. Building up my muscles. Build. Yes. So now that we have crushed it, you want to crush some more? Crush some more. Yes, I feel nice. Crush it, crush it. Oh, boy. Crush. Crush, crush, crush. Yes, I'm building up my muscles. I'm building up my muscles. Now it's time to unfold. Okay? Come on. Crush it apart. Put it apart. Put it apart. Yes. Building up my muscles. Ooh. Building up my muscles. Yes. To pull the edges, put it together, or put it up together. Put it up together. Yes. Wow! Look at that! Isn't that 
beautiful putting it together. Wow, look at that. I'm making my married cold. Wait, it's what I did. It was open, we crushed, and then we put it together. And we're pulling it apart. There you have it. Can get some more out of this. Whoa, I didn't pull this one apart. Oh, I can't pull up some more. Bring them up. Bring them up. Bring them up. Bring up all the layers so that our plant can be lovely. Oh, lots of it. Oh, pull it on. Careful not to tear it though. Careful not to tear it. Just a bit fluffy and nice. Wow, look at that. So, we have our plant. Mm. Look at that. So now it's time because we did not have the color, or you might not have your color. It's time to paint. I can't wait. Ah, I like it. Oh, boy. So we're going to get some paint. And you know what the red and the yellow are primary colors. Let me remind you of the colors. Red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, yellow, and blue. But today we're not going to use the blue. We're going to be using the red. I'm going to put a little in your container. Put in the red first. Whoa, that's a lot of red. Ooh, red, yellow. What is going to be happening? Yes, I'm mixing. Red and yellow. What's in my cup is in my cup. Red in my cup, in my cup. Yellow is in my cup. Red and yellow. So we're going to be mixing. Woo! This is. Oh my goodness, I could put some more yellow in that. What a beautiful color. It's not the same anymore. Boys and girls, it's not the same. It has changed a little bit. Look what I have. Can you see? I'm mixing, I'm mixing, I'm mixing. Look what I have. You see that? It's like a miracle. It has the color. Orange. So red and yellow gives us orange. And I'm going to be fixing up my marigold. Woohoo! Come on, touch it all over. Wow. So I'm painting up my marigold. Woo! Yes, man. Creative. Look what my little ants can do. Yes. Your little ants can do so much. We can mix colors and we can make them into a flower. Yes, and the red and the yellow give us orange. Red and yellow give us orange. Red and yellow give us orange. Woo. They are primary colors. Red and yellow. Yes, keep painting. Don't go too hard. You don't want to crush your petals. Yes. You want to put some more? Of course you can put some more. I'm building up my muscles. Ooh, look at that. We're getting a beautiful orange color. Now remember, if you have your orange piece of paper, you don't have to paint it. But if you don't, and we're using our maybe tissue or antoil, you can color it. So we're making sure that everybody's able to participate in this activity this morning because we're mixing colors and we're getting over. Wow. Do you like it? It needs some more? Okay. Let's put some more. Wow. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to put it in a nice little phase at home. And I'm going to call it my marigold. So if you don't have marigold at home, you can make your own marigold plant. Now I'm putting it together. Wow. 
I am making a marigold plant. A no, it's not a plant, it's a flower. Yeah, I'm making a flower. What am I making? Marigold, marigold plant. I like to make, 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 make flowers. I like to make, 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 make a flower. There we have it. A beautiful marigold. I'm going to put it in my cup right here. Isn't it beautiful? So earlier we spoke about the sunflower. We spoke about other types of plants, cleaning up my hands, make sure that your air is clean. I see the mess of yourself, I hope you didn't. So we spoke about different types of plants and I'm going to be sharing with you a story. Now the title of our story is The Growing Sun Flower. Are you ready? Oh, you're going to finish? Okay, let me just sing one more time for you and you are going to be getting ready soon straight and tall yes i'm going to be sharing a story about the sun flower remember earlier we made your sunflower and i'm going to be using my sunflower mask yes to share my story with you and the story of a sunflower and it is written by ellen rowe ellen rowe Sunflower. What did we say this morning about the sunflower? Yes, it is tall. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you plant seeds. Very good. Anything is, you remember? Yes, it has leaves. Very good. So let us read our story. Once upon a time, there was a girl peeping out of her window. She saw something move among the dry stuff where the sunflowers had been in summer. Was it a bird? She put on her coat, her hat, and willies and went to see. What a surprise she had when she saw the tiny man with a long white beard and green pointy hat. He had a teeny tiny brown, my tiniest brown boots. Waistcoat and trousers. She watched as he dug a hole in the earth with tiny, teeny spade. When he was satisfied and his hole was big enough, he pulled some stones over. The little girl laughed, <laughs> for she realized that the stone was actually a sunflower seed still in his black and gray straight coat. The gnome turned around and started at, at the sound of her laugh. He stepped back in surprise and dropped his head. You see me? He grasped. The little girl nodded. What are you doing? She asked. The gnome's eyes twinkled and he put his finger to his mouth as though he said, I have a secret. Then he pushed the sunflower seed into the hole and with a teeny tiny spell, he covered it over with earth. As he walked, he hummed, 
Sunflower, sunflower, what is your secret? Sunflower, sunflower, what makes you grow so tall? Sunflower, sunflower, what is your secret? Sunflower, what is it that makes you grow so tall? As soon as he had sung his song, the little girl realized that the little gnome had vanished. One minute he was there, and the next he was gone. Now a few weeks passed, and the little girl had almost forgotten about the gnome. Perhaps it had been a dream away when again she saw through her window something moving in the garden. Was it the gnome again? Was he real after all? Quickly she put on her coat with it. She didn't need her hat this time and went to have a look. She was about to say hello when she, and went to have a look. Hello to the little gnome. When she saw that it wasn't the gnome as all but a fairy, a tiny fairy wearing a tiny leaf dress and tiny had to bring her yellow petals. Here she sees through her wings shimmered like pale rainbow. Hmm. First it was the, yes the gnome, and now the, oh the fairy, very good. So the little girl, where was she looking again? She looked through her window. Very good. All right, let's keep reading. A star was peeping up from the earth with two leaves stretched out like arms of a fairy. Come on, stretch out your arms. Woo! The fairy whispered softly. As she whispered, the leaves trembled and the star grew a little bit more. There was a grunting sound and the little girl's mouth dropped open. Surely the leaves didn't make that noise, she thought. But then she saw a familiar pointy green at the gnome carrying a heavy acorn cup bucket full of water to pour on the plant. Oh, plants need great going water. The little girl laughed again <laughs> and stared, stared at the gnome who tripped over the pit fairy and dropped his bucket. Oh, the gnome stood up and brushed the earth off his trousers. Then brushed the earth off the fairy's dress. They put their fingers to their mouth as if to say, shh, we have a secret. And they sang a little song. Sunflower, sunflower, what is your secret? Sunflower, what do you think that makes you grow so tall? As soon as they were finished, they had vanished. One minute, they were there, and the next day were gone. The little cat girl's eyes blinked. Was she imagining this? Hmm. Did I really see it? No. More weeks passed and the stars with the leaf grew tall and taller. 
But the little girl didn't see the fairy whispering to the leaves or the gnome ticking or watering the hearth. One night there was a terrible storm. Thunder and lightning battered at the little girl's house. She suddenly thought of the plant. It was bound to be broken by the wind. She jumped out of bed, rushed to her window again. And peered into the blackness. She couldn't see anything except the shaking branch of the tree nearby. And then there was a light, a bright light in a distance. Who bright? The little girl strained to see what it was. She realized that she could see the star now, so tall with its large leaves. And there, could it be? Could it really be an angel standing so still in the middle of the roaring wind? The star was wavering backwards and forward. But the little girl could see the angel's hand was holding it, supporting it. The little girl knew that the plant was safe. She went back to bed and slept. In the morning, the little girl put her willies and rushed outside. She didn't need her coat or hat as the sun was shining golden warm everywhere. And there was a plant so tall, it leaves reaching up to the sky. At the top, there was a flower opening up to the sun. The little girl thought she could hear voices singing. She looked about her and as her feet was, the gnome with his spade and the acorn cup walking, smiling up. At the top was the fairy and she now had a bucket too, the bucket of paint. And she was painting the petals as bright as yellow like her hat. And then behind someone all around was the angel still gently holding the star. And they were all saying, have you ever seen a great big sun flower? Have you ever seen a great big sunflower? So, boys and girls, did you enjoy the story? Yes. You planted a tiny seed and it grew into a big sunflower. Now this morning we spoke about flowering plant and we talked about the different types of plant. We spoke mainly of our marigold today. This beautiful plant. We created our sunflower plant with our circles and our, our strips. Also, we did our marigold plant. We learned that the red and the yellow gave us orange. So, might I remind you, no screen time for two-year-olds and under one hour per day for children three to five years old. Visit ECC website for the activity plans www.ecc.gov gov.gn. Might I remind you, ECC, www.ecc.gov.gn. Encourage your children to wash or sanitize their hands. Remember, even though we are physically distant, you call grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle. Join us tomorrow for other activities. Tell what we have what we have done, many activities already, so join us again. Thank you.